Hi there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dutch Sheet channel and what have I got for you today? It is the Isheen Pioneer E350. Yeah, um, I've done several videos on the Squadcopter already, an unboxing and an uh, aerial videography video. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a great looking quadcopter. It's very capable, quite powerful. And uh, yeah, in this video, I'll talk you through the possibilities of the 915 megahertz version. This quadcopter can be uh, ordered in two versions, one uh, base model and well, one that comes with these telemetry modules. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, show you what you actually can do with those. I can imagine uh, people wondering why you'd want to order that version. Um, if you have already uh, ordered uh, the Pioneer EF350, uh, by the way, uh, without this uh, module, you can order it separately as well. Um, I'll have a link to both the quadcopter and this telemetry module set. And on the Banggood side, I think they call this a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi module. It's not. It not at all. Uh, it's a 915 megahertz set uh, with far bigger range than uh, a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi would have. Uh, kilometers. The range of this uh, module is uh, more than kilometers than a couple uh, meters. Okay. So, uh, let's have a look what this actually is. Okay, so the telemetry set or 915 megahertz telemetry set. Um, it consists of two pieces. Uh, one transmitter that uh, goes onto your quadcopter. Uh, there is a, a telemetry port at the bottom of the quadcopter that this plug over here plugs into. So this module goes on to, uh, well, the bottom. Uh, there's no obvious uh, spot or cradle or anything to uh, mount it on your quadcopter. Just uh, double-sided sticky uh, tape, uh, tape it to your quadcopter, I'd say. And this is the second one. Um, as you can see, it has a USB connector that'll slot into, for instance, your laptop. And um, I'll show you what you can then do on your laptop with uh, this module. If you'd have a USB OT OTG cable for your phone, on the go cable, you can also hook it up to your phone and uh, do all the telemetry and settings uh, on your uh, phone. Sorry, on your phone. So, um, let me uh, connect things up. I'll uh, just uh, double sided sticky tape it to the quadcopter and then we'll see what that looks like. Okay, we are now looking at the bottom of the quadcopter. This here is the rear of the quadcopter. This over here is the front. And um, yeah, I've got this uh, the cable that comes with the telemetry set hooked up to the quadcopter. The black strand goes to the middle of the quadcopter, to, so to this side. This is the black strand over here. And over here you see the red strand. Okay, and if uh, we now hook up the LiPo, you can hopefully see that the telemetry module has some LEDs blinking. Um, at this moment that's just fine. It's not connected to its uh, counterpart on the laptop. But we at least know that it's powered on and then you know that you've got the connector the right way around. Oh, by the way, this is quite an important one. I have hot glued the connector to the module itself. Um, maybe I just got a little unlucky with that connector not being very secure. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, you won't be needing this cable for anything else, so you can just hot glue it down to the module. This connector, in my case at least, is, is securely on to the quadcopter. So. Okay, and obviously you can tidy down this cable with a zip tie. And let's see, yeah, the next thing we'll do is have a look what we can do with this uh, telemetry setup on the computer side of things. 
Okay, so we've got the quadcopter, the Ishin E350 over there, and the uh, LEDs are blinking because we're indoors and it won't get a GPS lock. And uh, yeah, I do have my transmitter switched on, not really needed, uh, just for uh, security sake. Okay, so we've got the second module with the USB connector over here and we're gonna slot that into the USB port of my laptop over here. Okay, um, this module does not seem to have LEDs. Okay, next thing we'll do is we will start the APM Mission Planner. Here we go, Mission Planner. And I'll go into a screen recording uh, next uh, because uh, that'll be clearer to you. But um, if I pull down on this COM ports menu, you will see COM4 Silicon Labs CP210, which is the telemetry module over here. So we know that our computer has recognized the module. Uh, mission Planner sees that it's connected correctly and um, again I'll switch to the screen recording right now. Alright, again we are in Mission Planner and uh, COM port over here, as you can see, COM port 4, in my case, Silicon Labs CP210. And I'm gonna select 7500, 600 uh, bits a second. And we'll hit connect. There we go. And it's now uh, collecting the data from the quadcopter, all its settings. And it's done. Okay, um, to the upper left you see, uh, as you can see, if I move the quadcopter, it'll see what's going on with the quadcopter. We also see some data from the quadcopter on the lower left. And yes, uh, we do not see GPS data because um, the quadcopter is indoors, it doesn't have a GPS lock. Otherwise, on the map on the right, you'd see where the quadcopter actually is. All right, so that's very nice. We now have a wireless connection with our quadcopter. And that's very handy, of course. Um, it acts kind of like uh, having it connect connected up with a USB cable. And uh, especially in the field, this can be very handy. Of course, you just take your laptop or phone with you and you can change all settings. Or you can uh, see what's going on with the quadcopter wirelessly. Now, um, we can uh, now also change all parameters of the quadcopter as you can hopefully see over here and there are quite a few parameters to this quadcopter as you can probably tell uh, as with uh, every APM quadcopter really an extensive list I won't <laughs> go over all the settings that's more of uh, for an uh, APM tutorial, which I might do in the future. But as you can see, I have wireless access and I can change all settings in my quadcopter. Very handy in the field. You can actually change settings while the quadcopter is flying. How cool is that? And... Um, Okay, well, um, you can also, while the quadcopter is flying, record, uh, for instance, waypoints. 
you can make the quadcopter fly from from here this is my home position which is stored in the quadcopter you can fly it with the transmitter to here and then press uh, save that location or add it to a waypoint or, or as a waypoint rather sorry now um, I've already set up a waypoints list let me quickly show that to you there this is a very simple flight plan uh, which you can uh, set up uh, while you, the quadcopter is still on the ground of course <clears throat> again this is my home position and if I have the quadcopter fly this mission it would fly over all these arrows I'm actually not sure if my uh, windows pointer is in view for you now but uh, you can probably see that it'll do a sort of a figure eight and then head on back home so yeah that's very handy and um, actually let me clear this mission and show you how that's done um, I've got a few more okay okay um, okay you just simply right click on any part of the map and say insert waypoint and we'll insert the waypoint after <coughs> waypoint uh, zero because there are no waypoints at this moment as you can see it has now drawn this yellow line uh, which indicates that it will fly from the H position home to the one position and let's uh, add another one over here insert waypoint and there we go it'll now fly kind of a triangle and um, okay and let's see what uh, should I tell you about this yes there are a few things you should uh, keep in mind uh, you've got a waypoint radius at uh, lower left over here and I've set mine to 2 um, you should set that at least to 2 maybe 3 or 4 would be better now what is that uh, radius um, as you can uh, probably imagine GPS isn't an absolute absolutely uh, spot-on reading and the quadcopter will uh, consider a waypoint reached when it enters uh, within two meters in my case two of that waypoint otherwise it'll never reach that waypoint or never maybe uh, by luck but uh, you'd have to set that at least to two meters in in my opinion okay uh, obviously you can set up uh, all kinds of waypoints and um, oops done something wrong insert waypoint to ah, another waypoint and um, in the grid at the bottom you can see that there are all kinds of things you can change about these waypoints the altitude is the most important one alt uh, you can change the angle of your quadcopter so you can make it rotate um, Let's see, I can uh, for instance make it uh, do a loiter circle over here and we'll make it do three turns, there we go. So um, yes, at uh, waypoint four, at the last waypoint over here, um, oh sorry, at the waypoint three, it'll uh, start doing three turns and when it uh, has finished that it'll return to us so that's uh, how you set up a flight plan and if you'd um, start the flight you don't even have to sh switch the radio on you'd be uh, flying completely autonomous in this sense you'd make a drone out of your quadcopter uh, so to speak uh, to me a, a drone is an automated uh, device can be can even be a car but uh, okay so that's it basically there are a lot of options in uh, in uh, this uh, mission planning software 
um, if I'd go into every option this video would be hours long so I won't be doing that um, I hope this video gave you at least an impression of what you can do uh, with this uh, telemetry set again you can uh, use it just for um, status so you can uh, see what's going on for your quad cutter in that sense it would just be a telemetry option uh, you can make it do things without planning things you, you can uh, arm disarm it with the mission planner uh, return to launch if you've flown the quadcopter with the transmitter you can then uh, make it return to launch uh, from this mission planning software or make it larger uh, or set a waypoint um, there are a lot of options with this uh, software again you can simply opt to uh, use this telemetry set to wirelessly change settings but you can take it quite a step further and do missions and um, you can load and save different missions if you'd want to for instance test cameras you can make the quadcopter fly the exact same route over and over again uh, with a stored mission quite handy or if you want to shoot a video of a landscape in summer and in fall and compare the two you can make the exact same flight again uh, months later so yeah um, once again this is not an exhaustive uh, video on the options of this uh, mission planning uh, software uh, again that would be far too long a video but I hope this gave you a good impression of it and if you have uh, questions you can uh, obviously uh, leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to help you for now thank you very much for watching and hope to see you back in another video bye bye